Wake up. Oh, my bad. Throughout history, humans have been captivated by space. One of the earliest, most significant rockets is the V2 rocket. And it was the first rocket to ever reach space. And that just started everything. And after that, NASA built the Saturn V. And it even sent humans to the moon for the first time. And recently, SpaceX, Falcon Heavy, all that cool stuff. From the V2 rocket to the Saturn V to the Falcon Heavy to the Starship. Humans have come a long way. But today, ladies and gentlemen, Kerbal Space Program 2 is out. <laughs> I said all that just to say Kerbo Space. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Kerbo Space Program 2 is out and we're about to make history here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kerbo Space Program 2. The first rocket just for me to figure out, just to test the waters. Let's start with the little guy here. A little heat shield. Cool playing. That looks like a good fuel tank. Oh, look at this. This is just a little guy. All right. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Lift off. Woo! Well, we are going up really fast. How fast are we going? Are we going 300 meters per second? No way we are. This thing is kind of hard to control. I'm not going to lie, but we're, we're moving. The graphics have definitely improved. Look at that flame. That is some flame right there, boys. Okay, we have reached orbit now, and we're still not 90 degrees. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, chill out, chill out. Why are you spinning? Why are you spinning? Stop spinning. Screw orbiting around the Earth. I'm just gonna land. Ooh, I don't wanna land when it's nighttime. I'm serious. Go back to my old videos. I have never landed anything in the dark. We're just gonna go this way a bit. Wow, they made space look beautiful in this. Wow, it's like purple and all that cool stuff. Ooh, look at that flame. Ooh, ooh, that's hot. Ooh, and we are out of fuel. Separate. Ooh, time for re-entry, boys. Man, the graphics have definitely improved. For Kerbo Space Program, I can see mountains. That was not a thing in the old game. The old game was just greenery. Oh, that sun bright. Oh, chill out. We are going to be landing in the Rocky Mountains. This is great. We will all remember you as the first Kerbo that went to orbit and back safely. Oh! It ain't no Michael Zao video if your rocket don't go boom boom. The one I use barely even produces any drag. Hear me out. I'm gonna do something. I kind of want to make like a passenger rocket. Now that means we're gonna have to figure out like we're not gonna use the parachute to land this thing. We're gonna try to use boosters and legs land this thing kind of like how Elon does it with Starship. Is it gonna go well? Well, I hope it does because that's what I'm doing. Oh, I've done it. This will allow us to add a 16 crew passenger whatever. What's 16 times 3? 48! We have a 48 man passenger module right here. This is the testing for the crew cab, aka the one, the thingy on the top. You know what I'm saying. 3, 2, 1, let's go. And according to my calculations, all of this should go very soon. No, 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 no. Save yourselves! What? The parachute made it worse because it made everything go nose first. It's fine. It was a testing module. There was no people in there. I did not just kill 48 people. Okay, let's try that one more time. Perfect. I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit and we're gonna start turning. All right, we're flying over one more time. Prepare for vertical maneuvering. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Weight distribution exists in this game. I have to put the fuel tank on the top. I get it. Oh! Yo! The passenger module is safe. Oh no, we're tipping over. Okay, let's just try the parachutes. Oh! Oh! You know what? This might work. We are, The legs are too big though. Oops. Okay, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, yeah, you know, you ain't supposed to blow up like that. I think we can just skip right to the base module, the big rocket, the big boosters. So the suspension's gonna have to do some suspensioning, the suspension, this bad boy. All right, let's just add the big boys now. Oh my, this is gonna, she gonna fly beautifully. I can tell you that already. Okay, this is it. I mean, there's no going back. Holy crap, she holds. And we have built ourselves. You know what? The more the air, the better, because we, we're gonna need that. Three, two, one, boosters and clamps. And we have lift off really slowly. We're about to run out of fuel before we even get anywhere. Chill out. This is a heavy rocket. Yeah. Ooh, we're going at a slow 20 meters per second here, but we're going up still, so that's good. We are spinning. Why are we spinning? Stop the spinning, please. Stop the spinning, please. 
Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're too heavy. We're way too heavy. Okay, we got to separate. We got to separate the boosters. One of the boosters separated. The other is still hanging on for dear life. We have done emergency. Don't hit us. Oh, we got struck out the sky. Ooh, that hurts. All right, boys. We are slightly smaller and lighter. And we're going to see how we do. Boosters and clamps. Perfect launch. Way faster than before. My guy, you're overcorrecting. Alright, let's just practice the landing phase. Perfect. Okay, we know we can land this thing now. <laughs> we can fly this thing around. Oh, there's trees in my way here. There's trees in my way. Woohoohoo! Alright, it's time to launch again. And we're spinning out again. Separate. All right, all right. Oh no, this is an emergency. Uh, big mic for emergency. We have lost an engine. Get the engine firing. Get the engine firing. Get ready for re-entry here. All right, good landing. Good landing. All right, we've landed in water. Boat gang, where y'all at? Boat gang. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.